Pierre Curie, French, Key, the 15th of May 1859 to the 19th of April 1906, was a French physicist, a pioneer in crystallography, magnetism, piezoelectricity, and radioactivity. In 1903, he received the Nobel Prize in Physics with his wife, Marie Sklodowska Curie, and Henri Becquerel in recognition of the extraordinary services they have rendered by their joint researches on the radiation phenomena discovered by Professor Henri Becquerel. Early life Born in Paris on 15 May 1859, Pierre Curie was the son of Eugène Curie the 28th of August 1827 to 25 February 1910, a doctor of Alsatian Protestant origin, and Sophie Claire de Pouillet Curie the 15th of January 1832 to the 27th September 1897. He was educated by his father and in his early teens showed a strong aptitude for mathematics and geometry. When he was 16, he earned his math degree. By the age of 18, he had completed the equivalent of a higher degree, but did not proceed immediately to a doctorate due to lack of money. Instead he worked as a laboratory instructor. When Pierre Curie was preparing for his Bachelor of Science degree, he worked in the laboratory of Jean Gustave Borbos in the Faculty of Science. In 1880, Pierre and his older brother Jacques 1856 demonstrated that an electric potential was generated when crystals were compressed, i.e. piezoelectricity. To provide accurate measurements needed for their work, Pierre Curie created a highly sensitive instrument called the Curie scale. He used weights, microscopic meter readers, and pneumatic dampeners to create the scale. Also, to aid their work, they invented the piezoelectric quartz electrometer. Shortly afterwards, in 1881, they demonstrated the reverse effect, that crystals could be made to deform when subject to an electric field. Almost all digital electronic circuits now rely on this in the form of crystal oscillators. Pierre Curie was introduced to Maria Sklodowska by their friend, physicist Josef Wierusz Kowalski. Curie took her into his laboratory as his student. His admiration for her grew when he realized that she would not inhibit his research. He began to regard Sklodowska as his muse. She refused his initial proposal, but finally agreed to marry him on 26 July 1895. It would be a beautiful thing, a thing I dare not hope, if we could spend our life near each other, hypnotized by our dreams, your patriotic dream, our humanitarian dream, and our scientific dream. Pierre Curie to Maria Sklodowska the Curies had a happy, affectionate marriage, and they were known for their devotion to each other. Research Prior to his famous doctoral studies on magnetism, he designed and perfected an extremely sensitive torsion balance for measuring magnetic coefficients. Variations on this equipment were commonly used by future workers in that area. Pierre Curie studied ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism for his doctoral thesis, and discovered the effect of temperature on paramagnetism which is now known as Curie's law. The material constant in Curie's law is known as the Curie constant. He also discovered that ferromagnetic substances exhibited a critical temperature transition, above which the substances lost their ferromagnetic behavior. This is now known as the Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is used to study plate tectonics, treat hypothermia, measure caffeine, and to understand extraterrestrial magnetic fields. Pierre Curie formulated what is now known as the Curie dissymmetry principle. A physical effect cannot have a dissymmetry absent from its efficient cause. For example, a random mixture of sand in zero gravity has no dissymmetry, it is isotropic. Introduce a gravitational field, and there is a dissymmetry because of the direction of the field. Then the sand grains can self-sort with the density increasing with depth. But this new arrangement, with the directional arrangement of sand grains, actually reflects the dissymmetry of the gravitational field that causes the separation. Curie worked with his wife in isolating polonium and radium. They were the first to use the term radioactivity and were pioneers in its study. Their work, including Marie Curie's celebrated doctoral work, made use of a sensitive piezoelectric electrometer constructed by Pierre and his brother Jacques Curie. Pierre Curie's 1898 publication with his wife Mie. 
Curie and also with M. G. Beaumont for their discovery of radium and polonium was honored by a Citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award from the Division of History of Chemistry of the American Chemical Society presented to the ESPCI Paristec officially the École Supérieure de Physique et de Chimie Industrielles de la Ville de Paris in 2015, Curie and one of his students, Albert Laborde, made the first discovery of nuclear energy, by identifying the continuous emission of heat from radium particles. Curie also investigated the radiation emissions of radioactive substances, and through the use of magnetic fields was able to show that some of the emissions were positively charged, some were negative and some were neutral. These correspond to alpha, beta and gamma radiation. The Curie is a unit of radioactivity 3.7 times 1010 decays per second or 37 gigabecquerels originally named in honor of Curie by the Radiology Congress in 1910, after his death. Subsequently, there has been some controversy over whether the naming was in honor of Pierre, Marie, or both. Topic. Spiritualism In the late 19th century, Pierre Curie was investigating the mysteries of ordinary magnetism when he became aware of the spiritualist experiments of other European scientists, such as Charles Richet and Camille Flammarion. Pierre Curie initially thought systematic investigation into the paranormal could help with some unanswered questions about magnetism. He wrote to his fiancée Marie, I must admit that those spiritual phenomena intensely interest me. I think in them are questions that deal with physics. Pierre Curie's notebooks from this period show he read many books on spiritualism. He did not attend séances such as those of Eusapia Palladino in Paris in 1905-6 as a mere spectator, and his goal certainly was not to communicate with spirits. He saw the séances as scientific experiments, tried to monitor different parameters, and took detailed notes of every observation. Despite studying spiritualism, Curie was an atheist. Topic. Family. Pierre and Marie Curie's daughter, Irene, and their son-in-law, Frédéric Joliot Curie, were also physicists involved in the study of radioactivity, and each received Nobel Prizes for their work as well. The Curie's other daughter, Eve, wrote a noted biography of her mother. She was the only member of the Curie family to not become a physicist. Eve married Henry Richardson Labousse, Jr., who received a Nobel Peace Prize on behalf of UNICEF in 1965. Pierre and Marie Curie's granddaughter, Hélène Langevin Joliot, is a professor of nuclear physics at the University of Paris, and their grandson, Pierre Joliot, who was named after Pierre Curie, is a noted biochemist. <laughs> Death Pierre Curie died in a street accident in Paris on 19 April 1906. Crossing the busy Rue Dauphine in the rain at the Quai de Conti, he slipped and fell under a heavy horse-drawn cart. He died instantly when one of the wheels ran over his head, fracturing his skull. Statements made by his father and lab assistant imply that Curie's characteristic absent-minded preoccupation with his thoughts contributed to his death. Both the Curies experienced radium burns, both accidentally and voluntarily, and were exposed to extensive doses of radiation while conducting their research. They experienced radiation sickness and Marie Curie died of aplastic anemia in 1934. Even now, all their papers from the 1890s, even her cookbooks, are too dangerous to touch. Their laboratory books are kept in special lead boxes and people who want to see them have to wear protective clothing. Had Pierre Curie not been killed as he was, it is likely that he would have eventually died of the effects of radiation, as did his wife, their daughter, Irene, and her husband, Frédéric Joliot. In April 1995, Pierre and Marie Curie were moved from their original resting place, a family cemetery, and enshrined in the crypt of the Pantheon in Paris. Marie Curie was the first woman to be honored in this way, for her own merits. Topic. Awards. Nobel Prize in Physics, with Marie Curie and Henri Becquerel 1903. Davy Medal, with Marie Curie 1903. Matucci Medal, with Marie Curie 1904. Elliott Cresson Medal 1909, awarded posthumously during Marie Curie's award ceremony. Citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award from the Division of History of Chemistry of the American Chemical Society 2015. Topic. 
Notes References External links Nobelprize. Org, History of Pierre and Marie Pierre Curie's Nobel Prize Official Nobel Biography Biography American Institute of Physics Annotated Bibliography for Pierre Curie from the Alsos Digital Library for Nuclear Issues Curie's publication in French Academy of Sciences Papers Some Places and Memories Related to Pierre Curie Pierre Curie at Find a Grave